I'm being forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby, so. Sir, please, is there anything I can do, sir, please? Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please, I'm begging you. I'm literally begging Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please. 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 I didn't break the law. I'm not going to be found guilty of anything. This is a waste of time. If you guys want to know who I am, I'll tell you who I am. Okay. You want to know what I'm doing here? I'll tell you what I'm doing here. Please, sir, please don't make this thing in jail. I'm begging you. We're not criminals. They're going to make me sleep in jail. Why? Sir, please. Please. Dude, please. Oh, my God. Don't do that to him. You guys don't know what you're doing to me, man. Why? Today's video takes us to Milwaukee, Wisconsin where the cart lark finds the wrong group of people. Oh my goodness, he doesn't get clocked, but we can only hope that one day he does. Sit back, watch, and <laughs> enjoy! Ya. All right, narc tears. <gasps> no. Cart return, obviously, where we just are. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, twenty steps. Wee wee. Is that where the car goes? Car return. You just left your car in the middle of the spot. Yeah. You don't want to be that those people, do you? Yeah. No, you don't. It's a bad thing. All right, I'm giving you a Lazy Bones shuriken magnet, which are pretty cool and sweet. Ah, it didn't stick. But that's the whole point is that, well, I'm gonna get you there in the rear here then. There we go. Um, yeah, those, those hoods are oftentimes aluminum. Uh, let's see if they're gonna figure out where I, where I put it. Now, before we get into it, this is the idiot behind the camera, Sebastian. Now, quite a few of my viewers seem to like him. Well, I tell you, then, you just don't understand what's behind this idiocy. Yeah, the guy has a degree in some kind of engineering, yet he chooses to do this cart narc idiocy. Uh, and here's another thing. He's on private property. Today he's at Walmart. If Walmart would just take a stand on this, it would end immediately but then he would just go to a grocery store. But let's continue and watch the nonsense that transpires. They, uh, the cart's actually right, the cart's right back here, actually. You don't want to be that couple that leaves a cart blocking. Oh, see how well, well those things fly? Well, I got more just in case. Bro, don't put nothing else on this car. Do you understand the principle, though? Okay, I get it, but don't put anything else now, on this car. Now, i tell you what. very rude. She has to but you know what's ruder? To she leave your cart out, but I asked... Somebody else a job. No, it's not. No, it's not, job. sir. That's blocking the spot for somebody else. No, sir. They, they get it from the... Why, why do they have the cart returned, sir? I'm putting it back on. Oh, let's see if I'll fall for the fake out. Fall for the fake out, yes. Now, sir, why do they have the cart returns? You want attention? There's a lot of other people here. Go bother them. They, I will if they don't take their cars back, obviously. Get that off of my car. Madam, do you understand the point? Get it off of my car. That's private property. You know what's private property too? If Just, people, if, do not put that on my car. Do not. Got you. Uh, now look, ma'am, please. As I stated earlier, yes, private property. You are on Walmart's property without permission doing this insanity because you're an idiot. Look at that haircut. What is up with that haircut, man? Please, pretty please. When your cart hits somebody else's car, that's their private property. Good toss, by get the way. Get out of my car. I'm not in your car. But you know what's the problem? People get sued over loose carts all the time. Uh -huh. That's damage to their car. Uh -huh. And you know you're supposed to take the carts back, right? That's somebody's job. No, it's it, There's somebody sir, here that gets paid to do that. But they get paid to take that from the cart return. Okay, so okay, I understand that. I, okay, say I understand what you're saying, right? Okay, good. Don't put anything else on this. Cart. But otherwise, you guys wouldn't have. Period. Though I'm saying that's what I'm saying. But I understand what you're saying. But do you understand what I'm saying? Don't put nothing else on this cart. As soon as you take your cart back, I will. Did you hear what I said, sir? But did you, you understand what I said? I, I get that. Then take your cart back. 
See, I don't think you understand what I said. I think you understand me fine. Put something else on this car. Okay, I... I dare you. Put another one of them on this car. What's the dare for? Put another one of those on this car. Like, will you give me... Put another one on the car. Five dollars? This is why I have absolutely no respect for the carton art. Absolutely none. You have no idea what this man's been through today or his woman. They could have serious cash of weaponry in that car or on their person. And you could be hurt. Very badly, as a matter of fact. And you continue to run your mouth. What? What was the purpose of this? Go do something else. Go bother somebody Every else. Every day is the right day. about a cart. Right. Here, man. A cart, which is the... What was that? Let's go. Want what? He gonna get what you right. for. He's gone. Madam. Because every time he walks away, you keep talking. Right. Because do you guys do you guys know what happened? Monday, go get Jackson's car. You don't. No. That's not my. Hold on. One second. You don't want it. Because they. You don't want it. Don't want what? What are you talking about, man? You fell for the fake out, by the way. Yeah. Who are you people, by the way? Huh? Who are you? I'm a police officer. Well, That's sir, why I'm telling you. Now, sir. What did he do? What did he do? You need to go ahead and sir, go. You sir, sir, you sir, you don't even know what happened. Go, let, go ahead and tell him to go ahead. Madam, do you know what happened? No, there ain't no madam and I don't give a fuck. It does matter what, exactly, you don't get... You, you just kept coming at him. Because they left their card out. Oh, fudge, don't get... Well, hold on. Yeah, I'm getting away. Oh, that was great. Some bystanders got involved and the little punk doesn't know what to do. But he's not finished yet. He's going to go quiz this police officer. Stay tuned. Ah, this is the thing with these Lazy Bones sympathizers and crackheads. Uh, okay, they, so the poor people that have no idea what's going on see the same thing. Because Obviously. you didn't see the whole thing, madam. You saw the end result. And now you just jumped in because you don't know what's going on and you're clearly an ignorant person. Now, sir, let me talk real quick. Can we have a conversation? Can we have a conversation? Back off. So, sir, back off. Back off. I'm a, I'm, I'm a polite back guy. You're talking to me and I want you talking to me. Sir, what is, do you not know how to have a, a you back, I'm so you when I, when I, when I say, off, sir, sir not, I'm not near you, number one. You I'm not approaching you. Because of the cart, are you kidding me? Right, exactly. Are you? At this point, most people who have common sense would back off. But come on, this guy is just like a frauditor. He has no common sense, no common courtesy, and no common decency. Otherwise, why would he be on private property trying to harass people? Well, that's what frauditors do. This guy is not a frauditor, but he falls under my umbrella of idiots, imbeciles, and morons. No doubt about that. Are you kidding me? Now, if a you shopping cart. Right. Broncos. What happens when this cart rolls and hits that car? Well, what happens if, you know what? I walked out on the street and I get hit by a bus. Shit happens. <laughs> no, no, that is absolutely not. If you get hit by a bus, that's a problem. If this car gets hit by this car. Oh, the K word. That's really seeping out of the uh, into the uh, common usage. Listen, sir. I wish people would have a polite conversation. Is what I wish. Sir, you, this is the problem is you, 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 you hear people, but you don't want to listen. You don't want to have a conversation. The thing is, is that you want, you want to do your YouTube or whatever you want to do. Yes, sir, I do. I want to teach people a lesson. Go do it up there. I do it everywhere. Go do it up there. I do, but you, inter you introduced and interjected yourself into the situation. Go ahead and do it up there then, sir. I do it everywhere, sir. I know you do. So you enjoy yourself and have a blessed life. I enjoy myself when people take their cards back is what I do. They, oh, I swear to God, there's like, at what point... Enjoy your YouTube. I enjoy it when people take their carts back. You take your cart back? See, you did. You did because you're a responsible person. People, this is uh, the 50th way that people try to deflect. First, they yell over you. They won't talk about things. Well, now, there you have it, folks. Another day in the life of a cart narc. Stupid is as stupid does, and we can only hope and pray that one day he's going to get what's coming to him. But in the meantime... If you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, and morons on my channel, please subscribe. <laughs> As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Cheers to that.